Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm bringing you a build order for the Bulgarian Men at Arms into Scouts. And uh, this is pretty much based off of Hera's um, existing build order that he's got for 20 pop Bulgarian Men at Arms. And uh, it's quite a, well, it's a ridiculously fast <laughs> Men at Arms rush. Um, you're basically hitting uh, or getting Men at Arms probably about one and a half to two minutes quicker than the standard 22 pop man at arms rush so yeah it's ridiculously fast so um, as I say this is 20 population so what we're doing first is just getting your normal sort of six villagers on to the sheep and then rather than having four on wood we're going to send three to wood with this one because we're not going to be building a mining camp so we can kind of get away with uh, only having three on wood certainly to start off with. So just uh, fast forward a little bit, let's get those out. There we go. So then the next village just come out is going to go and lure the first ball. Uh, bring that one back and then after that we're going to send a villager to sort of make a house and then go over to berries and then the next uh, villagers after that are going to go to berries as well. So here's the ball villager. Just going to lure that ball in. like so and then this next one's going to come out here and build a house so kind of building the house forward uh, just so it's going to form part of the wall that we're going to have at the uh, front of the base there so yeah we've got three more to come out and go to the berries like so we're just going to sort of take it from there so um yeah it's a really really good build order um, generally aiming to hit the fuel age around 9 minutes 20 a bit sooner than that if you can but I think the uh, optimum that you can do is 9 minutes 15 so super super fast and you should be able to uh, just as fuel age comes in you should be pretty much at the enemy base and uh, you can deny them uh, making their own military buildings uh, you know, if they've uh, gone up with, uh, you know, for, for scouts or for archers, you should hopefully be there and uh, able to deny the building being made. So, once we've got those onto the uh, bore, or onto the berries, we're going to do the second bore, and we've just put some villages on to bore themselves. And uh, we're going to have uh, a total of uh, three going over to bore, three new villages. Right, so let's make sure we finish that one off. The final village is coming out onto the bore. And then the next village is come out is gonna go down to here and make a barracks. Should have enough wood, hopefully. Just need 35 more wood, so they just normally need to drop off their uh, their load. And then the final villages are gonna go over to gold, stop collecting ten gold. I'm just slightly short, there we go, we finally got the uh, the wood in. Uh, so yeah, it's going to go over to collect uh, 10 gold, as I say, we're not going to be getting a mining camp because we don't need to research men at arms, we uh, only need 10 gold. So uh, that villager is also going to make a house. So once we've got enough wood for a house, like so, we'll make the house. Loom's just about to finish and we've just been able to click up as well pretty much bang on time so it was quite easy to uh, to click up just wait for the barracks to finish building probably just drop off a bit of food with those villagers like so and then militia on the way so we just need to make three militia uh, that villager um, I've just sent him back to food really just to get some get some more food with the sheep could have sent it anywhere really uh, but I figured I'd just send it back to food and same with that gold villager really there's no rule really I would say where where you send them could have sent them to wood but we've just moved five villages from the sheep onto the wood and we are going to get a couple of farms down as well um, before a few leech comes in and then once the sheep have finished those villages the remaining villages from the sheep are going to go on to straggler trees as well and we're just going to keep adding farms at that point so as you can see the militia are going forward now I'm not quite at nine minutes yet but they're making the way forward as you can see they're almost at nine minutes and they're very very close to uh, 
in the enemy base now. There we go, so about 9 minutes 16. From 9 minutes 20, we're on the enemy berries, which is great. Uh, I've just decided to move those villages from Straggler Trees, those five, over to uh, a woodland, get a second uh, lump count down with just researching double bit axe as well, and we will also get horse collar in uh, pretty soon as well. And then from this point onwards, uh, for the time being, it's pretty much just a case of uh, keep adding uh, villages to farms from these straggler trees. New villages will go to straggler trees. Uh, I think I do um, send a few extra villages from these over to the main wood line up here uh, just to uh, make sure that I can get the stable down soon and uh, you know, keep making farms and get a blacksmith and things like that. But all the while you're doing that, just keep harassing with your men at arms. Try and distract the enemy where you can. Unfortunately, the barracks have been built <laughs> right within the town centre range, so I uh, wasn't able to deny that. It is on the against the AI though, so ordinarily in a proper game, you'd, you'd be up the top here. I would expect harassing and stopping those military buildings coming down. But as you can see, we're just about to get the uh, stable at around 11 minutes. Um, we're just going to keep adding farms start looking at walling up soon as well so I've just moved one of those villages down here just to get some houses and start walling up along here that villager's going to carry on walling around here just getting the front of the base secure and all this time we're still adding farms so yeah, you can see I added another three villages onto there um, just so that we can start getting some wood in for the blacksmith so without doing that maybe a bit of a struggle to get walls down and the stable and houses and farms and everything else so I did have to send a few more over to wood as you can see we're still going around harassing down the bottom there and I must I must confess <laughs> you're not actually going to see me with the uh, making the blacksmith in this video because I did it right before I actually got to uh, castle age um, pretty much just because I forgot if I'm honest uh, but just getting some scouts out now as well. Again, we're still harassing with the man at arms, taking a bit of damage, but that's fine because we're going to have scouts pretty, pretty soon. Not quite ready yet. We're going to have uh, another one beforehand. But as you can see, we're just getting the front of the base nice and secure and walled up. Probably could have got the blacksmith down now, but as I said, I did forget. And then, yeah, we finally lost the uh, uh, spearman came out. So they managed to kill the scout and take out those remaining man at arms. But yeah, sending the scouts out now, only sending three. Probably could have waited for that fourth one, but I uh, wanted to kind of capitalize on the harassment that I'd already given them. As you can see, just adding more and more farms, getting nice and secure. And pretty much around 15 16 minutes, we'll be researching wheelbarrow and then uh, probably send some over to start sending some over to gold looks as that's what I'm doing now so it'd be three from this point onwards so looking around 35 population don't know how many villages that is 31 villages um, we're gonna start adding so from well, technically from 30 villages add uh, three onto gold and then get wheelbarrow and then add another three onto gold once you've finished or a few more depending on how much uh, food you've got and that's with the view of transitioning into two stable nights once we've uh, once we've finished so yeah not the best uh, not the best scout raiding <laughs> that's for sure but that's it for this one guys so uh, Thanks for watching. If you do enjoy Age of Empires 2 content, you're looking to improve the game or learn build orders, and do consider subscribing and certainly like the video. I shall see you on the next one.